Hello, welcome back. My name is Carx82, and today I'm continuing my Greg Block uh, mod pack. I'm just um, smelting up some iron here because we need quite a bit of iron moving forward. Let's see, we got 10 here. I sifted some materials in between episodes to get some iron and we are going for the uh, simple cobblestone generator so let's see where that is there we go not too crazy difficult. I do need two pickaxes and this wrench. I really hope it doesn't consume the wrench, but I have a feeling it will. Alright, I do need another bucket, and that was... how was that? That was... I'm trying to remember how this worked. It was... It was two of these. With this, right? Yep. And then I need another one for the bottom. Was that? Oh, close. There we go. All right, so now we do need some more lava here. So let's get that going and melting. I also needed stone. Don't I need stone for this? No, just cobble. So for this. I need to kind of reorganize because it's a bit... <laughs> my chests are kind of in the way, but I'm making a new cobblestone generator here, so... Alright, so there's the four cobble. I need a bucket of water. I think I'm going to lose my buckets as well. So pickaxes, I need... yes, yeah, four. Yeah. So all the different types of pickaxes we can make. Where's the iron one? Iron. All right. It was that. Is it hammer and file? Maybe. Wow. Look at that. I guess right. And then I need sticks. So two iron pickaxes and the four cobble. I'm going to try this wrench in the middle and we'll see, but I have a feeling it's going to consume that. And that's melting, that's about halfway. Alright, so while that's working, let's see what else we got. Right. Shrooms on mycelium. So it's saying to do a 3x3 three three area. We can do that. How about like over there? Wood is pretty easy to get, so I'm just going to start doing full blocks. And after this, I'm probably going to start just doing cobble once I have that going. 
Okay, so I guess we'll just do... It said 3x3, three three, so that's what, 9? This is just kind of temporary, I think. Or, which I think I put over here. Yep. And we also need a, um, a water barrel, so let's I'll let that spread a bit. Is this almost done? I should probably pipe some more cobble in there so I don't have to wait. All right. So let's see if this will work. Okay, it did use the iron pickaxes, it didn't use the wrench, which is, and didn't use the bucket, so that's actually pretty good. So, simple cobblestone generator. I wonder if I can pick up this. Can I put that back in there? No. Alright, I'm just going to put this in here. This I will use, and I guess for now I'll use just a regular chest. Let's do this, and I think there's... Yeah, there's this. I'll probably replace it with this. Just, but for right now, I want this just working. Let's kind of clear this out a bit. Ooh. Almost fell there. <laughs> Fill this in. Um. Okay, so this just need to get it set up. Let's do I guess we'll just do that, that on the side, and then this on top. All right, that's actually that's actually pretty fast, to be honest. Okay, so there we go. We got cobblestone generator. Nice. Now this over here, mycelium is spreading, but I need to make a barrel. So we'll put a barrel right in the middle, and then put some water. It should start. Yep, it's transforming into witch water. Perfect. And then there we go. And that will grow mushrooms on the mycelium. I need a brown mushroom for the quest, I believe. Yeah. One of each. So it should spawn. I'm just getting the red ones, though. The bush should spot no, no problem. Okay. So that's that. I can do drawers and coke oven is a good one to get so I can start making charcoal from my wood. 
Um, what else can I do? I can get cows. It's another option that I could be working towards. Um, yeah. So I need to like kind of rearrange this a bit, I think. I'm a bit crowded here, especially with this. So let me. Oh, that's so nice. Oh no, it left one up there. Like, if this does spawn brown mushrooms, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so that's going to bug me. Alright, so I think I'm going to move this out of the way. So that's a little better. Um, yeah, why are only red ones spawning? That's a bit weird. And that's annoying. It's like double. I don't know why my mouse is so sensitive. Both of these, yeah, both of them should spawn. I should, the mycelium should spread. I believe. I don't think lighting affects that. I could be wrong. Okay, so maybe, let's see, bronze chest, bronze tank. Bronze chest. Let's see, this is eight, so this is 16. That's a lot of bronze to make that chest. I don't have that much copper is the problem. So I need some more tin, which I should have a lot of tin. Yeah. Cassiterites is also tin. Let's just use this. Get that going. So, mortar, where is my, my mortar gone already? Let's cook some of this up. So that's doing pretty well. We're already <laughs> almost filled up a chest. So now these aren't growing. I wonder if it's because it's too light out. Maybe they'll only grow at night. Um, trees. Where should I put my trees? Yeah, that mob farm is not so good. I didn't realize we were so high up. This is the problem. We're like level 80. By level 80. Let's 
Okay, so I'm going to expand this farm out that way, I think. Instead of using wood, I'm actually going to use cobble from now on. I just remembered. And, oh, I can't get stone plates until I get a compressor. That's right. So, no building wand yet. Man, why is it... I'm gonna keep <laughs> saying that. I don't understand why it's silly. So eventually I'm probably going to have this as a, a 9x9 farm, maybe? Oh, but for now I'm just going to... put this out here. Actually, I, I'm only going to do 6. I don't even need 9. That should be good. Okay. So let's just throw this in there, there. Hold on to those. Right, there's my mortar. I'm gonna do Man, that. Oh, man. Alright, so before that goes, I need to make more. Now. I don't want it touching any of the cobble. Otherwise. It'll vein mine the whole platform. That's not good. Alright. So at least get two more out of this. I can probably make this iron. Would be a lot better, to be honest. Um, let's see. Just needs two ingots, so... Okay, why is that not... Oh, it is. That was weird. It wasn't letting me drag. So this is 256 as opposed to 55. So much better. And then so it needs three. It still goes by five each though. The durability. All right, there we go. Probably going to have a, a metals chest because there's so many different metals. So I'm thinking maybe this has to be dark. That's why that's not... Um, they're not spawning yet because they were spawning at night. I'm just... so many extra seeds, I'm just throwing them in there. Okay. So bronze, we needed 18. So we got bronze cooking up in here. What's a bronze tank need now? Bronze tank needs 8. And some glass. I'm gonna... Do 
don't need that. Let's do me like I don't know. We'll do this much glass. Nineteen. Okay. And then what else we got? Some black gold. I'm assuming that's like oil of some sort. The weather. I'm not exactly ready to fight no weather. All right. Oh, so we have the steam age is popping up. Oh, it's not quite ready yet. Shaping clay. Yeah, so shaping clay, this one is the. What opens all that up? Okay. And this was, was the hammer. Was it that? Yeah. I think it was just that, right? So it has one extra row, but that's a lot of bronze for just one extra row. Um, but I might make this my metals chest. Then if you shift click, uh, won't well, let me pick that up. Like this one, you can shift click and pick it up. This one doesn't have that option. Oh, if you hold shift, you can see what's in the chest. That's cool. Okay. So I am going to break down some cobble into gravel and some gravel into sand and sift the sand for copper and iron and tin. So I will be back in a little bit. All right, I'm back. I just set up a little kind of mini automation thing. Basically just put my whatever needs to be smelted in this one gets fed into the furnace and then put into this chest on here. Nothing super fancy, but it was easier than me babysitting these furnaces. Um, I could even have a hopper uh, on the side of this feeding into the bottom of this if I wanted to, but don't really need to do that right now. Anyway, so I got some copper. I'm just going to break all that down, I think. And then I should have some more. All right, this isn't working with. Yeah, scroll wheel won't work on those. It works on that. It doesn't work on those, which is a bit annoying. So I might be limiting. What mods is from? Craig Tech. Yeah, it might. Don't know how much I'm going to be using it though. If uh, scroll wheel doesn't work on that. So there we go. So 16 copper. I'll just throw that in there, and then it'll. Once this is all done, we'll feed into that. All right. And we'll get that bronze tank. Um, this over here. So I was noticing that nothing was growing again. Let's uh, take that out. So I'm just going to get rid of this witch water for now. I don't need it. I can make enough. But when I was transforming, the mushrooms pop up. So if it's actually witch water, it, it doesn't work. It only works when it's transforming, from what I'm noticing. But anyway, so that is this quest. 
with which water are you able to turn skeletons into weather skeletons and sand into soil sand? <laughs> now you can summon a wither and kill it to obtain another star and probably die in the process. So I don't think I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. By melting soul sand in a crucible, you can obtain 50 metal buckets of raw oil. Soul sand is made by putting sand in witch water. Okay. So this sounds like something we could set up. Having water piped into these barrels, turned into witch water, and then having sand piped in and then piped out. Um, but for now, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get quite into that yet. All right, what's going on with this over here? I need, perfect, I need eight to make this tank. So let's make these ingots, and then I think it was this. Yes, so that can store 8,000. Now, question is, can it... Like that, and then can I break it? And it, it does hold liquid. Okay, that's cool. All right, so that is pretty good. I can't get rid of this water. Okay, so I don't know. Well, I could be piping like witch water in um, once I get some fluid pipes. Uh, but for now, we'll just, I guess, I don't know. Wrong one. There we go. I'll just throw it in there for now. Along with my mushroom. Alright, I could make some soul sand. Is that all I need? Just one? Did I... I think I cooked it all, didn't I? So one piece of sand in here. It's all sand. And then it wants, so it's 50. So I would need 20. Yeah, I would need 20 soul sand to make one bucket of oil. That's a whole lot of... That's a whole lot of things. Setting the place ablaze. What else have I opened up here? I've opened up other stuff that... Must be later. Alright. While chests and tanks are nice, they don't really cut it when you have a lot of different items and large amounts of fluids to store. To combat this, we have drums. Bronze drum, so that can hold 32 buckets. Store four times the amount of fluid in the corresponding tanks do. You cannot see the fluid in them. They take two to four more ingots than tanks, but no glass. Then crates, store one and a half to two times the amount of different items. The corresponding chests do, they take up a whole block space. They limit JI usage and automatic. They take about the same amount of materials as chess. So, drum. All right, there are different capacities. We got 64 buckets, 96, 128, and 192. So these are two each, right? It's yeah. So eight, that's eight bronze, and then let's see, these are two. So these, each of these is two, so this is 12. All right, 
So the the tank I just made was eight, and this is twelve. And let's see what the crate is. Does need iron screws though. At least that does. So fifty four. So it's five rows. It'll be five rows of items put in one block. This is four rows. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to use the bronze on that quite yet. So drawers, framing table, framing drawer. Trim. Just needs a whole lot of wood, so this seems pretty easy. Just do that, so oak trim. This is so annoying. I absolutely hate when they do this. So the recipe needs five of these, but the recipe to make these is only four. So now I have three extra. Although I can use to get an upgrade template, so these aren't going to go to waste, thankfully. And then what was the other thing? The framing something something? Framed drawer. Holds up to 32 stacks per drawer. So we'll make this. And the framing table. I guess I'll throw it right here. Yeah, you put the, I'm trying to remember, you put that in there and then like whatever you want it to look like. Cobble and if I want to do like a front like this and then gravel on that. Um, I don't want to do cobble, that's for sure. With soul sand. <laughs> Let's just do wood, I guess. Yeah, that's like the trim. Although that matches a little bit too much, I can't really see it. Do I have a axe anywhere? No, my axe broke. Actually, now that I'm thinking, I can probably use this for my cobble. That'd be probably better than a chest. But we do this. Don't want to lose that to the void. There we go. All right. What is it, 30, 32 stacks? So it's actually already full. Um, I will probably, I don't know, what are the upgrades for it? 
So we got bronze. I'm assuming this is bronze. Yeah. Steel. Stainless steel. These are kind of, this is the Greg Tech kind of titanium, tungsten. Yeah. So yeah, that's the Greg Tech kind of progression. Bronze Age, Steel Age. These are the creative, which obviously you can't. Isn't there one that has like the number? Is it this one? Show skill level. That might show the number on the actual drawer. I would say like the number. I think that's the one. All right. So we did that. I do need to get some cows. Let me build out a platform for cows and I will be right back. All right, I am back. I have built out a platform uh, for some neutral animals and then I think that's right. Yeah. Got a little water patch here. I'm going to right click on the dirt with a grass seed and that will eventually spread. I believe let's see place more blocks from the animals biome here uh, might be need more grass I think it's just grass could be wrong though but it's 25 blocks that should be enough so we'll let that. I wonder if it needs a tree. I don't think it needs a tree. Let that grow and see what happens. I think it's just not enough grass. Uh, we'll let that expand. Otherwise, we'll have to look it up. Does it say? Yeah, it doesn't say. It doesn't say on the baits either, I don't think. Uh, let me look it up really quick. Um, let's see. Yeah, grass block. Dirt blocks don't count, I figured. Um, so we'll wait for that grass to spawn, or to spread. It needs 10, 10 blocks in a 5 by 3 by 5 area around the bait. At least one block of water. And there must be no player in a 6 by 6 there. Yeah. So I had it right. I just needed to wait for the grass to spread, which will happen naturally. Okay, so that's good. We got cows spawning. I'll do this task later. So this, before you were able to make any type of, any time of bricks, any type of bricks, you are going to need forms to form the corresponding types of clay into the corresponding types of unfired bricks. So I need a flint knife and an oak plank. Flint knife, was it? It's hard for me to, it's hard to see. Flint knife. Let's try knife. I'm assuming this is it, yeah. So one stick and flints. Do I have any flints? 
Oh, I had some. So we'll make a knife. And oak plank. Slab plank. Yeah, oak plank. And that's a saw with a slab. It might need to be in a three by three. Yeah, it needed to be in a, a three by three. All right. And then oak brick form. So that's just the knife with an oak plank. All right, so transferring fluids channels, so I could make these. I could use those to transfer fluids into like the barrels possibly, could be a thing. With a multi-block coke oven, you'll be able to turn logs into charcoal, char coal into coal coke and lignite into lignite coke, which are much better fuels. So I need unfired coke oven brick. So this is three coal, this form, and then sand. Okay, so I'm gonna need, I'm assuming, okay, so that does three. Then you'll fire it, and then four, for one coke oven brick, and I'm assuming I'm gonna need 26 of these. Is that right? Or maybe not. Is that, is this like the Is this the front, like the one block, and then I need the rest that goes around it? I'm assuming this is a multi-block. Yeah. So 26 coke oven bricks. So I need 26 of these times 4, which is 120-something. 100, 108? All right, 118, 124. Wow, math is hard. So 26 times four, yeah. So I need a whole lot of these. So I need a lot more clay. Man, is this one? It's one for one, yeah. All right, so I'm going to need a whole bunch of clay, which is actually not that bad. I don't have to sift for it. I just have, I need to break this down. Oh, there we go. I got a cow. There we go. Moo. Cow bait. I used it too quick. I didn't register. So let's. Oh, I got some right there. I'll throw another one down, one down anyway, so I get two cows.
There you go. Man, I don't really need this right now. Can I drink it? I can't drink it. Let's get rid of it. Okay. Did that open anything up else? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to farm up a whole bunch of clay and sand so we can get this uh, coke oven going. So I will be back. All right. So I am farmed up a bunch of the coke oven materials. Let's see. They're cooking in here. And I am doing the rest of the parts for the coke oven. Now, I need a screwdriver here, so I'm going to work on a screwdriver. Um, here we go. So I need two rods, a file, and a hammer. All right, I'm going to do rod iron, I think for the screwdriver just because it has it's the same materials basically as a iron screwdriver it's just the wrought iron is put back through the furnace and you get more durability from it so I think it was not saw how was it again? There we go. So wrought iron is 384 durability, whereas iron is 256. So it's definitely worth it to make, instead of make iron tools, make wrought iron tools. Okay. So that's so screwdriver, hammer, that, and then right. bolts. So a saw on an iron rod. So iron file, it's an iron rod. Iron rod gets cut in half with a saw. Oop, so I need another one. All right, so iron rod cut in half to bolts. File, another screw. There we go. That is, I'm assuming this is like the main kind of part of it. Alright, and then all we have to do is wait for this to smelt. Oh, no. Split this up. There we go. And I'll be back when this is done cooking up. Okay, so I have smelted up all the blocks, and I realized because I completed the quest after. I used one of the coke oven bricks to complete the coke oven. I'm short three bricks. So gotta make sure I don't jump ahead um, with the quests. Um, otherwise they don't complete, which is a bit of a pain. So now I'm gonna have one extra coke oven brick. But Luckily enough, they are quite easy. You just have to hammer down some cobble. Cobble to sand, one sand to dust. Put the dust in the water, get the clay, and then craft it in the, with the oak brick form, which is really not too difficult. All right, so there's those four. Put that together, and there is the quest.
and then charcoal. Okay, so there's no, I'm not getting like a guide how to do this. I wonder if I place, I'm guessing it's going to go, oh, I need more room. I'm starting to get into Greg Tech multi-blocks here. Let's just build out a few blocks this way. And then once I start making charcoal, I'll be able to make uh, torches much easier because I'll be able to get, make them with charcoal, which is just logs to logs to charcoal right away. Okay, so I guess we'll just let's put it down here. I'm guessing since most coke ovens are like this. I'm just kind of guessing this is how it's made. Uh, it doesn't give you a diagram anywhere. Unfortunately. Uh, let's... Is that... I mean, that's usually how they're built. Um, let's see. I need logs. There we go. Let's see if this works. Is it? It is. There it goes. It doesn't light up, though. But it is working. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty typical coke oven um, style. Just three by three. One, the middle one's hollow, and then the the latch or the uh, what, what would they the hatch, I guess, or was in the front. The control panel, I guess you could call it. So once we get charcoal, all right. So this is 64,000 or 64 buckets. Click with an empty fluid container to fill up the tank. Shift click and refill all containers in your hand. So if you have uh, cells, I think they're cells. Is it cells and yeah. Empty cell. Which are, these are these hold a thousand ml buckets, so these are really good ways to transport fluids. But this requires, uh, yeah, creosote. So half a half a tank or half a bucket of creosote per log. There we go. And then you can keep your coke oven manual, but if you want to, you can automate it quite simply. You replace any coke oven bricks, coke oven bricks block with a coke oven faucet that will automatically output creosote, or with a coke oven chute that will automatically output the items. For them to function, you're going to need to place them before placing the controller. All right, so I'd have to. Oh look, there we go. Now it's working. So coke oven, so just okay, I'm not going to do that right now because I would have to make all these again twice, but these are each one, that's one, two, so this is five, seven, that would be 14. 14 iron to do both of those. All right, but we have moved on to Steam Age. 
we're going to turn fuel into heat. Use this fuel to create heat to turn water into steam. So this is going to start all our steam engines, our first machines that we get to processing, <clears throat> processing materials. So, yeah, I don't know if we need that yet. Uh, but this, yes, yeah, so let's just kind of take a look. Small, is it small steam? Yeah. So, pretty easy. Needs 10 bronze plates. Two things of bricks and a furnace. Bricks, it's just, I'm assuming. Yep, just clay in with the brick form. So that's easy. That's eight clay and ten bronze. Um, so not too bad. Uh, but that will be for next time. So thanks for watching and have a good one.